Here's a little story about a man with a shed. He got really bored, so this is what he said. Hey, you know what? I'm gonna get on the radio. So now in his shed, he does a funny show. Broadcasting, that is. Radio Gold. It's pretty funny. Welcome, my friends, to The Shed Show, the late night shedding version. <laughs> That's right. We're uh, in the shed late night, so we're there for late night shedding. And um, I don't really know what I'm doing. I just, you know, I'm out here pretty much because I got kicked out of my house. I mean, not really, like. I could, could go in the living room, but my girl wants to go to sleep. We're trying to get the bell, bell my daughter to go to sleep. And um, so my option was to go in the living room, wander in the kitchen, lonely. You know, I'm not ready to go to bed because I took a fucking nap today. Uh, and, uh, you know, I really didn't know what to do. So I'm like, fuck it, I'll come out here and play around on the, on, on the computer. I was, I was supposed to get on the computer later. So Joe's going to hear it. It's probably goes, Bobby, you bastard. <laughs> but, uh, I, you know, I, I didn't get on. You know, Belle was playing games and everything. And then she had an episode. And I took it from her, gave it to Ian. And me and me and Liz were in there watching TV. And then she's kind of like, oh, I'm getting tired. Oh, I'll go to bed. So, so now I'm like out here in the shed at 11, almost 12 o'clock at night. What, no shoes on, by the way. Like a real true hillbilly. Out in my backyard in my shed. But no doubt, goddamn shoes on. And uh, just shooting the shit. Got my Skype up. But really nobody's on. I guess I'll check out Facebook. See what's going on. You know. Doing bad. bad. I, I play some games. Uh, Mafia Mofos. I've been getting into that again. And... Uh, uh, just, I got a thousand points. Right, this game, Mafia Mofos. Pretty good game. You can check it out. MafiaMofo.com. Uh, uh, you know, you can do... Uh, it's like a gangster kind of game. Like you're a, you're a mob or you're a thug or whatever. You're a criminal. You can sell drugs. It's stats. It's all stats. You can sell drugs. You can, uh, you know, uh, you, you have a gang. You, can, you know, I'm part of a gang. And, and uh, you know, you can start your own gang. Blah, blah, blah. You get get up to a certain level the more the higher the level the more you can do you know rpg whatever and uh well i get a thousand points points is is like money there it's it's points you get money but points are worth more you can do a lot more with your points than you can the money so i i've i haven't really done too much all summer long i haven't touched the game so i just started playing the game again and what happens all right You've been here for a year. You get a thousand points. Well, you can gamble your points. I think I have a gambling problem when it comes to this game. I just gambled like a thousand points away. <laughs> Cause I'm kind of upset about that. I'm lonely. Nobody's on Skype. Uh, I can check out Facebook. Sometimes people are, are are trolling on there. You know what I mean? I don't know. But uh, we'll, we're we're off to the races, <laughs> as the instrumental says, and we'll figure it out. Uh, stick with us if you're listening to this. Um, and if you're not, go fuck yourselves. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, here's the spiders on drugs. The wood spider is the most accomplished of all web building species. Recently, scientists gave these tiny creatures a variety of psychoactive drugs to observe their effects on web building. When given a minute dose of LSD, the spider's web took on an unfamiliar, minimalist structure. When given caffeine, the web structure was not affected, but the spider's behavior was. Given THC, the active ingredient in marijuana, the spider didn't build a web. It built a hammock where it lay all day and watched the caffeine spider go. When given alcohol, 
the spider built a web, found a mate, and raised over a hundred young. But the mate got a restraining order, and now the spider can't go within a hundred centimeters of the web. The crack cocaine spider figured building webs was for suckers, waited till the caffeine spider was exhausted, then came up behind it and popped a cap in its ass. Nice web, Mr. Crack Spider. When winter came, the marijuana spider had no place to live. It ended up in the crack web as the crack spider's bitch. For more information on the crack spider's bitch, contact the Canadian Wildlife Service in Ottawa. Uh, so got the Facebook up. DJ Uncle Bobby here. That's Shed Show. You're home for all things funny. We're fixing what's wrong with radio. Um, and, you know, and uh, all the catch lines. Uh, just some DJ here playing, or just some uh, buddy's uncle playing DJ in the shed. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And uh, I'm in, in my shed. Very lonely. Very cold. Bare feet. And, uh, you know, I guess we'll just play the jams what we got on here. Because there's there's no interaction going on at all. You know, uh, I complain a lot about Spreaker. Look, I love Spreaker. And uh, and uh, uh, let me tell you why. Because the alternatives. <laughs> Blog Talk Radio. You want to be... Look, I've given Spreaker plenty of money. Blog Talk too. I was a paid customer there for a while. But uh, look, times are tough. I can't always afford it. So... You, you still want to be true to, to you know, and, and have fun on on your site. So, you know, Spreaker's where to go for that. Because, you know, goddamn, I tried to do a blog talk one. And you, you can't even do one. Uh, out, besides, uh, like, 11 o'clock was the, la the latest. After 11.30, you're done. You can't do one past 11.30. Why? All them times in the middle, you're telling me you can't do one in the middle of the night because of well, that's fucking some bullshit. Because you're not pay? And they want like $40. That's crazy. Speaker, keep up the good work. At least here, and what I like about here, you don't have to schedule nothing. You just boom, bang. Don't have to call that fucking calling on the phone. I forgot how annoying that was. This is just bam, bada bing, bada boom. The only thing is, I mean, you don't even need Skype to do this. Uh, I just use Skype to interact with my friends, so, you know, look, you, you want to talk to me, you get get a fucking Skype account, it's free, how hard is it? Uh, not that it would matter anyway, nobody's fucking up right now. Uh, my buddy Zach is up. Uh, could try calling him, he's from India. Uh, we call him Zach. I can't pronounce, because I can't pronounce his real name. <laughs> he hasn't been in the show for a while. Freddy on Facebook. Freddy, our producer, looks like he's asleep. Jen Jen the intern's asleep. Early day for everybody. I got an early day tomorrow, uh, so uh, an early night for everybody. But I, I got an early day tomorrow, so I really can't play around. After the show, I'll probably go ahead and sneak in there and go to bed. Oh. You know? But this is just a, a winging it show. Playing whatever we got, you know what I mean? Uh... We play funny songs here, funny songs and or parodies, funny clips, songs and or parodies. Uh, and this would be under the funny song category. It is not a parody. It's an original by Top Secret Soup. No, Super Top Secret Project. You can find them on YouTube. This is the realistic love song. Yeah, uh-huh. Uh-huh. I'm going to do it when I get home. Yeah, I'm going to do it when I get home. I already told you that. How many times do I need to say it? Okay, love you. Girl problems? She can't be reasoned with. She's like the Terminator. You know what you should do? You should write her a song. What? You know, a song, rhyming words, set to music. Why would I want to write her a song? Because she needs to know how you really feel. If the sun didn't shine, the mountains crumbled, the stars fell from the sky. I'm pretty sure that my thoughts would not be regarding you and I. When I look into your eyes, sometimes I can't see the reflection of me. If I look really closely, see I'm not gonna walk a thousand miles, sleep out in the rain. 
because I have something called dignity, plus I'm not clinically insane. If your life is a fairy tale, you need Prince Charming to fix. Well, here I am, girl, to say to your face, what are you, six? Oh, whoa, yeah, honey, baby, I love you, zippity-doo. You let me inside of your vagina, so I wrote this song for you. But if you think I'm gonna make an ass of myself, and my best what you need to me, you should probably take up a hobby, because you're watching way too much TV. Seriously, girl, you're kind of fun, but I ain't gonna run up to any rooftops to shout it. But if you run out of gas, I'll come get your ass, and I'll give you shit about it. And I definitely won't be thinking of you every minute of every day. But I promise to hold your hair up when you're moving too much cabernet. Hey, hey, hey. Totally content is the way you make me feel. Except for when you chime in with commentary. When I'm behind the wheel, keep your trap shut. In the next 10 hours, should you need a shoulder to cry upon? I'll be right there in that living room watching the Death Wish Marathon. I said, oh, whoa, yeah, honey, baby, I love you, zippity do. Once, so I wrote this song for you But you're just a girl And I'm just a guy with no different than the rest Just as sure as my heart is an organ Located in the left side of my chest Time will go by And I realize that there is nobody better Or even if there was It would require too much time and energy To go out and get up So we'll get married And you'll probably shit out a couple kids of mine but if we treat this thing like a business venture, I'm pretty sure we'll be fine. And I'll fight nature and not sleep around, even though I know that lust is bleeding. But just so you know, I don't consider going to the Asian massage place cheating. And I'll put up with all your bullshit, if you put up with mine right back. At least till you get dementia, or I have a heart attack. So the next time we make love, I might mother something about your big double D's. And you might be like, what is he talking about? I don't have double D's. If you could just say this is the best tip I've ever gotten and play along with me, please. Since I'm fantasizing about the waitress last night at Applebee's. Holy Jesus, that girl was hot. Though I don't believe in Cupid. But I'm willing to put up with your girlfriends even though they're fairly stupid. Asia is not a country. Anyway, I'll bring you medicine when you sit. But sometimes I'm gonna say chauvinistic shit to you just to be a dick or make a sandwich. Oh, whoa, yeah, honey, baby, I love you, zippity do. You said you might be open to butt sex, so I wrote this song for you. And since our love is not gonna lift us up there to where the eagles fly, I would rather you be pleasantly surprised than set the bar too high. FYI, I'm addicted to porn, I'm totally addicted to porn. I never get sick of the porn. I never ever get sick of the porn. Oh, oh no. No, that's a bad idea. Okay. Take care, man. Have a good day. Bristol Palin on Dancing with the Stars, shall we?